Hi, this is What You Wait For, a one's perspective on camping and survival. And first off, I wanted to say I love YouTube. <laughs> uh, I don't like their new format. I like the old one better. But I do love the idea of YouTube. I think it's a great way for everyone to share their ideas. I can share ideas with you, you can comment on them, you can share your ideas with me. We can see how everyone is preparing things that they are doing. We can put our two cents in. And if you need to learn something, believe me, they probably have a YouTube video about it. And so I just wanted to say that straight off. Second thing I wanted to get into was I saw a advertisement for pet food and that got me thinking. I don't have a lot of pets. I only have two birds right now but we're going to work on getting a few more as we move on to our property later on. But it got me thinking about putting away uh, pet food and animal food in our food storage plant. We don't have a cat, but I was thinking having uh, some cans of cat food would be very beneficial to us. If we run out of meat, uh, uh, if I pop open a can of cat food, cat food is very aromatic. If you've ever opened up a cat food can, you know they stink. <laughs> but it attracts animals. And so if I open up some canned cat food, it might attract raccoons possum. Um, Lord knows what else it will attract. Uh, maybe your neighbor's cat. <laughs> I don't think I'd shoot that. But, <laughs> but uh, if shoot hits the fan, we're going to be relying on different ways to get our meat. Uh, another thing to think of is your squirrels. We have tons of squirrels outside and they're very abundant. Uh, but if everyone decides that they need to start shooting them for food, we're going to have less and less and less. It's not going to be very abundant like it is now. So if we have squirrel food, um, sunflower seeds put away, we might be able to attract squirrels to our backyard. Or birds. That's another great one. We'll attract the birds. Uh, but the squirrels, if we start now going out and feeding them, they know to come back to this, you know, this is our little house and this is where the food is. And they know to come to our house to get food. So after shoot hits the fan, if we have a couple bags to put away and still put a small amount out there, the squirrels still know, oh, we need to go to that house because that house has food. And if they're standing there eating, they're a pretty clean shot for me. <laughs> Uh, also, deer corn would be another thing. If you're hunting, you can take that deer corn, you know, and lure the, do the deers to come where you want them to be. So that deer is going to come in front of your gun, in front of your sight, instead of in front of somebody else's. Uh, also, you might think about um, corn, like the deer corn that you can put in a small pond that might attract uh, ducks, geese. Uh, what is, I, I was thinking of a few things. I'm just sort of, you know, doing this video real fast. So I'm trying to put all my thoughts, you know, together while I'm doing the video. Uh, but also, oh, rabbits would be another thing. If you can get maybe some rabbit pellets or rabbit food to put away, uh, and when shoot hits the fan, you might be able to attract the little bunnies to you rather than you having to go and, and find the little bunnies. <laughs> uh, also, I was thinking about uh, stock, uh, livestock food. We are in a very rural area, but we're not, we're not rural yet. But if you go down a few, probably about four or five streets, you're going to see farms, you're going to see um, goats, you're going to see cows, chickens, and uh, you do not know what's going to happen. There might be a few cows that get out that you might find, uh, a few goats that have lost their way. 
Or you might come across, if shoot hits the fan, you might come across a farm that has been either abandoned or possibly the owners have been killed or died. And if that's the case and you come across chickens, uh, I would love to keep a chicken for the eggs because if you feed them, you know, pretty regularly and in, in a good amount, you can have maybe an egg one to maybe every two days you'll get an egg and that would be more advantageous to me in the long run than to eat the chicken and have it for one meal. You could have several meals by having that food and being able to you know, prolong them. Also, if you come across an animal that might not be older, that, that's, that's a young, child, uh, young little kid of a goat, and you can feed it and fatten it up until it's slaughtered. Or if it's in milk, you don't want to you know, butcher an animal, uh, a, a cow, if it's in milk, when you can get milk every day. And after the milk runs dry, then you could go ahead and slaughter them if you had to. But if you had that food to keep going, to be able to have it survive, that would be more beneficial than, than turning around and slaughtering it very quickly. Uh, so that's just a few things to think about. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you have any comments, things that you've thought about, make a note of it. I love to see your comments, uh, especially if they're constructive. If you're just going to say that I'm a ding-dong, <laughs> don't make a, a comment. <laughs> but if you don't disagree, if you don't agree with what I say, or you have a comment to add to it, please make comments. I love them. Because that's how we learn. That's how everybody, you know, learns. Is, uh, you have more experience in some things. I have more experience than other people in some things. And when I say something, if I say something that's like totally out there, if you know better and you're more educated than me, please let me know. Um, I'm just going by a lot of things I, I think of are things that, that I've either heard from YouTube or that I just an idea that I had. So I love to hear the comments that are constructive. But if you're just a meanie out there, <laughs> and your whole idea of having a YouTube channel. You don't, you know, upload videos. All you want to do is just uh, watch other people and bash them and, you know, calling them names or whatever or using a lot of foul language. Uh, then maybe my channel is not that great of a place to be. <laughs> you know, I'm not making you watch my videos. You don't have to. Um, but try to be nice. I mean, we could share and, and criticize without, you know, being mean to each other. You know, everybody's different out there. And, you know, I, the way I think of it, I put my picture out there. Everybody knows what I look like. Everybody knows a lot about me. But the people that have the YouTube channel that don't upload any videos and all they do is bash and they don't have a picture of themselves, it, you know, it makes me wonder, well, I wonder what those people are like, you know. They don't put themselves out there, you know, to be criticized. But anyway, I would love to hear your comments, but if you're just going to call me a, a ding-dong, then don't make a comment, you know? <laughs> but anyway, think about it and what you're waiting for. Bye.